Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking part in Two for Tuesday. This was started by Tom over at Knife Delights. So if you've not checked out his channel, I please urge you to go and give his channel a look. Great butt collection, an even better guy. He's such a fantastic guy. Spoke to him on RJ's Lives on the weekend. Just a top, top guy all around. So please go give him a subscribe and check out his content. So today we have two canoe patterns. One being a modified canoe, which is a kayak, and then one here, which is the, the standard canoe pattern. So we will go over the standard canoe first. This is the Masonic canoe from Rough Rider, and you can see it has this beautiful smooth bone scales with the Masonic pin, nice and flush. And then we have brass pins and nickel silver bolsters, I believe they are. And then on the rear, again, that beautiful blue smooth bone. The depth in the colour, I don't know if it'll show on camera, but it's fantastic. Excellent fit and finish on this knife. No gaps at all, just nice and smooth together. And then we have the canoe pattern. You can see the shape of it here, the outline. The two bolsters are sort of elongated or higher at the, like the middle point. And that covers the tang of the blade so that it doesn't catch on your pocket. And here is the main spear point blade. A nice etch there in search of more light and the Masonic logo. And you can see the Rough Rider tang stamp just there, the, the reverse R. Excellent mirror finish on these. Again with excellent grind. And the, this came absolutely razor sharp. Just a lovely pattern. I love the canoe pattern. And then the secondary blade on this is a little pen blade. Nice pull on this, about five and a half. Main blade I'd say is probably a little bit less, maybe a five. I think that's due to just the, the easier leverage, you know, the longer blade and the nail neck being easier to get to. But again, you can see lovely little pen blade, nice grind and mirror finish again. And of course the reverse R tank stab on this one as well. Both these blades are 440A. And it's just a fantastic little knife. Nice walk and talk. Nice snap into the open position. Cam tang, so no half stop. And a nice little snap into the closed position. So that is the standard canoe pattern. And here we have the kayak, which is sort of a modified canoe. It shares a lot of similarities. You can see here from the both the similarities between them. So they call it the kayak, as it has the hump in the middle. So you can sort of tell that, you know, if it was an actual kayak, you'd have people set here and here. And again, it has the same height and bolsters to cover the tang, so it doesn't catch on anything. Lovely spalted oak. You can sort of see the iridescent colour of that green oak. Look at the you can this sort of patch in particular. You can see it change colours. Absolutely fantastic. Nice inlaid shield, pins. Everything smooth. This has stainless steel bolsters, brass liners with impeccable fit and finish on this knife. There is no gaps whatsoever. It's absolutely fantastic. And here is the rear of the knife. You sort of see the excellent wood on there as well. Everything is flush, as I would expect from a Rough Rider Reserve. Obviously, you see the slightly higher price. This one, I believe, was about £20 on Heine Haynes. And then I got this one special through Heine Haynes, and I believe it was about £50. But happy to pay that for a knife in such excellent quality so let's have a look at the blades lovely snap on this and these are reverse tanto blades see a nice swedge on the top matte strike nail pull and the triple r tang stamp just there and these blades are in d2 steel you can see the model number there is rrr018 and these blades are fantastic. You can see this one is sort of um, a long, thinner blade. It is slightly longer than the other blade. So this is a nice, long, thin, reverse tanto. And just listen to the snap on this. 
I would say this was about seven and a half to an eight pull. It's fantastic for a little knife. And then we have the secondary blade, which is again a reverse tanto. Same D2 steel blade, but you can see it has a lot more belly and it is a bit a bit of a stubbier blade. Again with the triple R tang stamp. Nothing on the rear. Lovely edge on these blades as well. Nice and even, razor sharp out of the box. And again, fantastic walk and talk. To the half stop, a nice slam down into the closed position. There is stop pins on these, so you can see the pin just in here. When it closes, the pin would then rest in the sharpening choil here. So that stops any blade wrap, which is the blade hitting the back springs on the inside. So there's no chance of any dings on the blade. And you can see from the top view, both blades are centered perfectly, nice and clean on the inside. This is a firm favorite with me. I do love this knife. Just carrying this knife today as well at work, getting the daily duty, excellent carry. Always got get compliments about this knife, especially about the wood and the way it shines in the natural sunlight. So there we go, guys. That is my two for Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to give this a like and give me a subscribe. If you also click the bell, it'll notify you when I upload new videos. I upload shorts daily mostly, and then I have a couple of new videos a week. I also have a special sort of package coming in this week. I've ordered a knife from Framar Knives. Uh, it is the most expensive knife I've bought, but I have wanted one of these for a while. The brand that is. So I will review that probably on Friday, I'd imagine. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. As I said, this was from Tom at Knife Delight, so go check out his channel. Love to have a chat with some of you in the comments, so feel free to ask me any questions about these, anything about the patterns, anything like that. I'm happy to answer. So thank you guys for watching. Have a good evening. Peace out.